we'll see the Houston Rockets as they go up against the Golden State Warriors. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Now Golden State's starting five. Wiggins is out there with Kaminga. Then it's Green. Then it's Thompson. And it's Curry in at the one spot. And for Houston, we've got Fred Van Vliet. Smith is out there with Dylan Brooks. Then it's Thompson. And it's Green in at the two spot. We are in for a treat in this matchup, Greg, with two conference rivals set to clash yet again. Yeah, we're going to see some added effort and intensity. And, and don't be surprised if it gets a little chippy. Now here's Van Vliet. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Thompson. First and an aggressive foul. inside play First there from foul. Van Vliet, not letting the foul deny him from getting the shot off. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for two. We throw good, Van Vliet. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets title winning days back in 94 when I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals firsthand. And he's good on the three ball. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Smith finds Brooks. And here is Van Vliet. He's covered by Thompson. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Back-to-back -back titles for the Rockets in the mid-90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he doesn't get his due at times, but the dream is one of the all-time greats. Olajuwon's defense really changed games. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. A three-pointer off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Van Vliet looking around. Van Vliet can't get that one to fall. The Warriors have gone two or three here to start out the game. And Kaminga throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach Steve Nash. One point he made to his players was, they're going to try to attack us where we live, right at home, in the paint, at the rim. We have to be ready to contest shots, play physical, and match their intensity. Guys, we will all find out together how this plays out. All right, David, thanks. Now Thompson, following the three-point attempt by Andrew Wiggins, another miss by Houston. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. And so Green will bring it up for the Rockets. Trailing here by eight. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. Here's Thompson. Smith trying to break loose. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. 
Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Green finds Curry. Kaminga down low. Brooks covering. Kaminga, no good. Rockets trailed by six. Brooks, the best to Green. Wiggins with the rebound. Here's Golden State now. Big stretch here going 10 2. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First it goes on Dylan Brooks. The Warriors shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. is off. Mark, let's go back to when the Rockets traded away James Harden in 2020. How has that reset gone? I like what it looks like, Kevin. Building through the draft, I love the young talent they've been able to acquire, and they've done it with a bunch of future first-round picks in their back pocket. So they're not done. There's more to come in drafting high-quality talent. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now, Green, he's still scoreless so far in this one. Trying to find Thompson, he gets it to him. Throws yes, down the alley-oop slam. Jaylen. Good vision that time from Green and anticipation. Kind of knew where his teammate was going to be. The pass to Green. And here's Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Shoots over Van Vliet. And Curry, the bucket on the Curry. assist by Wiggins. Curry's got five. Boy, Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick, showing off his passing skills there. Van Vliet passes to Green. Back to Van Vliet. Let's go. Warriors with the rebound. Kuminga with it. He's picked up by Brooks. Pass to Thompson. He kicks to Curry. And Thompson sends it back. Passes to Curry. Clock at four. Fires the three. And Clay Thompson hits Clay from deep. Thompson. Thompson's got his second basket of the game. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Kaminga in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some Who haymakers now. Now Come a timeout on, called by Houston. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Here's Thompson. He dishes it to Smith. Van Vliet against Thompson. Will it go? And that one's good. Brooks. Oh, nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Here's Curry. Softly drops in the floater. Curry's got seven points in the game. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Thompson left side. Smith trying to break loose. Thompson, Thompson with the bucket. And you can always count on Van Vliet to make the right play. He doesn't make too many bad decisions when he's got the ball in his hands. 
Thompson with the bucket. Thompson. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now, here is Smith. No points in the game yet for him. Green kicks to Brooks. From the arc, like at six. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Van Vliet. Following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga. Green the pass to Van Vliet. Houston moving it around. Here's Brooks. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Kaminga. And one of these modern wings who doesn't just shoot threes. Brooks is a tough guy to cover. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. And that one falls for Brooks. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. And both free throws good for Brooks. Warriors leading by 10. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. That one, no good. The Rockets go the other way with it. Holiday looking for an opening. There's the pass to Landale. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Jonathan Kaminga. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. The Rockets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And one of the weaker areas for this group only shot about 71% from the line a season ago. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them from the line last season, guys. First free throw is good. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Paul with the ball. Curry wide open. And a Stephen great assist Curry. by Paul as that one goes Curry. in. Curry's got 10 points in the game. Curry against Holiday. Kicks it to Brooks. Pass to Bull. Got a piece of it. On the wing, Holiday. Just five on the clock. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Back to Paul. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First Paul plays ball. with such force and smarts combined. I mean, he looks for contact and does a good job of drawing fouls on the way up. The Warriors shoot their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one drops. Chris Paul sets up a fantastic example for younger players. I mean, CP3 defines what it means to be a pro. And so Paul nails both of them. Here's Holiday. 
past the bullet. Here's Landale. Brooks dishes to Holiday. A shot missing. The Warriors go the other way with it. Guarded by Holiday. And that one Jackson good. Davis. And the Warriors lead by 13. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Curry with the defensive effort. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Golden State foul. And the Warriors making a change here. First person Booty's foul. checked in. Third team foul. Warriors substitution. And that kind of stifling needed. effort on defense needs another look. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Now here is Holiday. Here's Landale. Dishes at the ball. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Six on the shot clock. And another basket for Golden State. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Now here is Holiday. And here's Bullock from the arc. And it's Curry with the rebound. Curry's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the wide open shot from Paul. It's rebounded by Houston. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And it's the Warriors on the break. And here they go. It's rebounded by Houston. Brooks has got four rebounds now tonight. Now the dish to Holiday. One on I and left here in the opening quarter. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. But beyond the leading, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Coming yeah, yeah I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And the Rockets making a change here. Green's checked in. The shot by Holiday, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Now here is Holiday. There's 25 seconds left in the first. He kicks to Bullock. Brilliant screen for three. Warriors with the rebound. Pass to Curry over Holiday. Curry shot is off. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. 13 points up at the end of the period. They have been sharp from beyond the arc, putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. We come back right after this. Your punch and dancers, everyone. Let them hear it. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a very convincing performance here from the Warriors so far. Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. They've got Reggie Bullock. Fred Van Vliet out there with Thompson. And it's Smith. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. On the wing, Thompson. No good with the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Van Vliet against Wiggins. Back to Bullock. It's stolen by Kaminga. Three on three. 
And it's Wiggins with the jam. Finishing with authority. You like to see Wiggins playing with that kind of attitude and edge. Van Vliet against Thompson. To the paint. There's Bullock. And he comes up with the deuce. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. So what's the difference? Well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends First to their playmaking. That Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. Here's Van Vliet following the basket by Chris Paul. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second and a shoot foul. first point guard, man, please understands foul. how to get defenders to foul him when taking shots. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. For two. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Paul looking over the floor. Unloads from 13. Kaminga, no good. Rockets trailed by 13. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Golden State's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Jocket is good. Kaminga. Hey, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Van Vliet outside. Thompson outside. Shot clock at six. Back to Van Vliet. The Rockets with another miss. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Jonathan and that one trunks. Using his handles to shake himself free, and it's smooth sailing from there. Now a timeout called by Houston. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the Please offense going. To the court. Are you? Court City Dancers. <laughs> Covered by Wiggins. Van Vliet outside, and Thompson sends it back. In terms of off guards, Thompson is an all-defensive team-level player, Domingo. can compete with the best of them. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Warriors leading by 21. And Kaminga throws it down. Just Assist playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Drills it from outside. Bullock's got five and points now in the quarter. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. And the pass to Thompson. It's over Van Vliet. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now, here is Smith. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. At the elbow, it's Wiggins. 
good and Paul gets Andrew the assist Wiggins. and the Warriors lead by 21. Boy Wiggins does it in so many different ways that scoring versatility of his special this time he got it done in the painted area now here's Van Vliet Warriors foul Chris Paul first personal foul second team foul so far he's hit all of his at shots the at the foul line Rockets. going four for four Fred Van Vliet two shots No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Here's Paul. to Kaminga. Pass to Paul. Wide open. Rockets with the rebound. Now here is Smith. Van Vliet outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Bullock. Oh, that's blocked. Now Paul. Thompson outside. Breaks a big height house and goes in. Assisted by and 12 points for Clay Chris Thompson. Paul. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all time list here. Out of and so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession Rockets here. Ball. It's stolen by Kaminga. On the wing, Thompson. Stolen by Van Vliet. To the middle. Out to the wing. Another miss by Houston. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. And Kaminga throws it down. He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. Now here's Van Vliet. He has five. Looking to end his cold spell. And yes, it's good. Van Vliet's got seven points. Love the energy on his drive. The defense didn't expect that coming from him. Paul for three, finds the hole for the second Chris time Paul. from the floor. Now two for five. Really confident shooting from Paul out at the arc. If he likes the look, he can drain it from range. Van Vliet against Thompson. Shoots off the step back. And Houston again with the bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Paul. He's got seven. Passes it to Kaminga. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Reggie Bullock. First personal foul. The First Warriors have been foul. successful on three of their four free throw attempts At up to this line point. for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga taking two shots. Hey. 
He misses the free throw. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Chris Paul. So he comes up empty, missing both. Houston's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Holiday up top, guarded by Kirk. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Rockets don't retain possession here. Still Rockets ball. Substitution for the Warriors. Number two. Brooks kicks to Green. Six to shoot from past the arc. Ties it again. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And the toughness of Brooks on display. Not fearing contact when he's looking to score inside. For Houston, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Brooks. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Warriors leading by 22. Here's Green, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. First person. And, and no wonder Green has been called the heartbeat of his team. He just makes plays that Shooting energize the State. entire roster. The Warriors shoot their seventh free throw attempt here. The line for one. That's good from Green. What I appreciate most about Green is his leadership. Strong vocally on and off the floor. Curry against Holiday. Now the pass to Landale. Out to Brooks. Now Green launches it. Sinks the triple. Green's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. No wasted motion or hesitation there. Green ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. Curry looking around. It's rebounded by Houston. Landale's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And here is Green. The Warriors pull it in. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Pass to Thompson. Brooks grabs the board. Brooks has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Green. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Green's got five. Green, because of his creativity and athleticism, carving up the defense with ease. Outside, Green. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. It doesn't go for him. And it's Houston the other way. Holiday, the pass to Brooks. It's good. Seven points in the game. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks Two always thinking ahead. And he's in position before the pass is made. A shot by Thompson and no Play one's Thompson. around. Bangs home Three the points. trifecta. 
major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Holiday gets the bucket. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. Peyton comes in for Thompson. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They have a 19-point lead. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. GA, thanks. Houston's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Here's Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Number two. Inside, Green's energetic play makes him really hard to contest without fouling. Defense's best effort turns into a foul. The Rockets have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And the first one at the line is good. Looking for a one-word descriptor for Jalen Green. The best one I come up with is exciting. The way he runs the floor and gives every play his all. This guy is just fun to watch. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Warriors leading by 19. Green with the ball. Outside Curry. Green left side. The three. It's Curry. That's him on the assist Curry. by Green. Curry's got 13. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Yeah, he step back to get it off. Oh, man. Carving this defense to pieces with the drive. Well done. Outside Green. He dishes it to Curry. Another three for Seven Golden Curry. State. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. Here's Green. Nine points in the game so far. Offline from the top of the key. That's Jonathan Kaminga has been on display for the Golden Your State Rockets. Warriors. That quarter Warriors had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 Warriors. points. And now Seven. we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. Oh. David. Rockets, you Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and I think we've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Jonathan Kaminga led the way in the first half. He ended up with 19 points, three steals, and four rebounds. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right, that's the point, obviously. And Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? 
they've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been picking some. They can say it. Giving up way too many easy looks. If they can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half, it's going to be a long ride home. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Jonathan Kaminga has been exceptional here, guys. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steal. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Curry is out there with Clay Thompson. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Kaminga. And it's Green in at the center position. Now here's Wiggins. Pass to Curry. There's three pointers off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. They get it back out to Brooks. From deep green. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Brooks has got four assists in the game. Curry against Van Vliet. A floater. A shot by Curry. No good. Rockets trailed by 20. Van Vliet finds Green. Sinks that one from the post. And Green. Green's got five points in the quarter. Green doing work inside. Feels like he can score on just about anybody. Passes it to Kaminga. Outside Curry. Green inside, working on Smith. And that one's good. Green. Green's got five now. And Draymond is smart at knowing when to shoot the ball, especially when he's got strong position inside. The alley play a very well done. Be a nice, silky finish on the alley oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Hey guys, I hope we get to see a few more of those. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And when you see Wiggins starting to develop that mindset, that mental edge, he knows he has the defender in trouble, and he's able to draw the foul as a result. The Warriors have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4 of 7 from the foul line tonight. one falls for him. a decent free throw shooter is Wiggins trying to become more than that though given how often he gets himself to the line he's off on the second it's trailed by 19 Van Vliet outside that shot off. Curry was a nice D. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Green finds Curry. Now here's Kaminga. And finished off by Kaminga. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got nine. And the wide open shot from Green. Misses the three. Warriors leading by 21. Kaminga kicks to Curry. The pass to Green. 
Higgins outside. On the wing, Thompson. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Houston. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. Van Vliet passes to Green. Uses the glass to finish the way. Green. Green's got seven points here in this quarter. Green is a made bucket getter, and his number has been called all night, and he has delivered. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Wiggins outside. No good on the three. He gets drilled by 19. Here's Smith. Yep, that one goes in there. Smith's got five. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And the rejection by Smith. This is to Green. Great see that time from Green. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. A, a team first player. When Thompson notices one of his guys is uncovered, he is willing to get it to him. Now here's Van Vliet. Nine points in the game so far over Thompson. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Warriors leading by 19 points. Green dishes to Curry. Green against Van Vliet. Now here's Kaminga. He's got 23. The Rockets pull it in. The fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. Green launching off the ground and throwing it down with ease. Boy, can Green get up. Van Vliet against Curry. Higgins outside. Now Curry. 16 points for him. No good. Shot missing. Thompson against Curry. Smith kicks to Van Vliet. That's a nice passing there by Houston. Knocks down the three ball. He's got 10. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Timeout called the Warriors. Timeouts by Golden State. You know what time it is, everyone. Make some noise for your Clutch City dancers. Once again, fans, those were your little dippers. Here's Curry. Floats one up. Great D that time from Van Vliet. He gets trailed by 14. And Green slams it in. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. Now here's Curry. Poked away. Stolen by Thompson. And they're pushing it up. That's in. Thompson. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And here is Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Over Smith. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Curry. Wiggins has got seven. Hey, it's a simple game. Just take what the defense allows. Wiggins reads it. Smooth with the mid-range stroke. Knock it down. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And, guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? They brought the hard hats and the lunch bells with them, too. Done some great work down inside. And he makes the first. Houston making some changes. Landale's checked in. 
And it's Reggie Bullock in for Jalen Green. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. Here's Paul. Seven points in the game. On the wing, Thompson. And a miss there on the triple. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. It's a 10-point game. Got a hand on it. And they get it back. Golden State's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Back to Paul. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. In the line of three on the Rockets. Whitmore. Thompson with it. Ten points for him. Down low. Here's Landale. It's blocked. That's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Rockets ball. Now off the inbound, it's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Not loose. And the lead is down inside, single digits. Thompson. Here's Paul, seven points in the game. Thompson outside, fires for three, scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. You know, Paul won't miss an opening that good. He quickly feeds the ready shooter, and it's all she wrote from there. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Hey, guys, one of emphasis for the lead is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Smith. Kaminga, no good. Rockets trailed by 11. Kicks it to Holiday. Got eight points. Golden State's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Mulligan, Tolliday, and the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. First personal foul. Jalen Green's checked in for the Rockets. Timeout call, the Rockets. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And let's hear it for your Clutch City Dancers. And here are the Rockets now. They're on a 19-7 run. Now here is Holiday. He's got eight. The shot comes out. AT that time from Curry. Warriors leading by nine. And here is Moody. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Some nice Two passing by Golden State. Lock at six. Pass to Curry. And a great assist by Seven Paul Curry. as that one goes in. Four, three. Paul's got five assists in the game. 
Holiday against Curry. Holiday, the pass to Green. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. Jalen Green. That's his first foul. First personal foul. And really just a great first play team. to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here's Paul. Seven points in the game. Here's Curry with the three. Another three Seven for Golden three. State. And the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Curry is just lethal from outside. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. Chris Paul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Foul. Second team foul. Paul with the steal. You know what? That passing lane wasn't open for long. He closed it down in a heartbeat there to get the steal. On the break is where Chris Paul is at his best. I mean, he loves taking advantage of space in the open court and beating everybody down the floor. Now here is Holiday. He's got eight. It's tipped. Paul against Holiday. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Chris Paul so good at working for his point. Even if the defense is on his back, challenging him, he still finds a way to finish. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And that one falls for Paul. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Curry against Helen. They need this. That one's not going to go. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. The dish to Paul. Five to shoot. The craftiness of Paul really on display everywhere, but especially inside and forcing defenders to commit fouls. He is three for three from the free throw line. At the line for the Warriors. Chris Paul at the line for two. And that one falls for Paul. Both shots good from the strike. And it's the Rockets with the ball. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Green up on top. Defended by Paul. And he gets the bucket. And Green. Green's got 13 points in the second half. I like when Green aggressively hunts his shot. He's a very impressive offensive player for as young as he is. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. The Warriors on top running away with this one. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Dylan Brooks out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's Landale in at the center. That's the five for Houston right now. Here's Holiday. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It goes on Moses Moody. First team foul. At the line for Houston, Aaron Holiday. Taking two shots. And 
free throw. Good, Holiday. Both free throws good from Holiday. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Warriors. It's an 18-point lead. Here's Moody, and it's denied. Brooks against Paul. They get a hand on it. Brooks dishes to Holiday. From deep, that's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him five for 12 so far. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Him. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Now, here's Moody. Following the miss by Dylan Brooks. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Warriors ball. Peyton surveying the floor. Passes it to Moody. Beyond the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. They get it again. And the shot Jackson goes in. Davis. And the Warriors lead by 17. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now, here's Bullock. Deep two from Brooks. And Moody pulls it down. Moody's got four rebounds now tonight. The pass to Peyton. Holiday against Paul. Shoots the three. That's in coming off an assist from Peyton. Three He's points. just stretching him out. The, the defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you got to tighten it up on D. Now, here is Holiday. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Houston, Aaron Holiday. At the line for two. The first one falls. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Moody. Free throws good from Holiday. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Kaminga. Basket good. Kaminga's got 25 points in the game. And that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Now here's Brooks. And Holiday has it in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Good D by Peyton. Warriors leading by 20. He dishes it to Paul. Outside, Green. Knocked away. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Jabari Smith picks one up. 
And, and normally more comfortable Shooting dishing it. Great to see Green there Dream being aggressive, Green. taking charge. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Rockets trailed by 21. Pass to Smith. Van Vliet against Paul. And some nice passing there by Houston. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Hey guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Now here's Paul. Stripped it away. Passes to Van Vliet. Shoots. Another miss by Houston. Oof, rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. Payton kicks to Paul. Shot clock at six. Out to Payton. Paul outside. Here's the three. And it's Gary Payton the second with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Coach's ball in the zone. Get out of his way, folks. He knows how to take a game over. He does it efficiently and effectively. Both teams deciding to change it up. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Looking to get back on track here. And Van Vliet lays it in. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. Curry passes to Green. And here is Kaminga. Inside. Here's Thompson. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Thompson's got 20 points. And when Thompson gets in a groove, it lifts this whole team. Great to see him shining like this on offense. Smith's shot is good. Smith. An absolute bully in the lane. Nothing the smaller defender could do there. Van Vliet against Curry. And there's the pass to Thompson. Rockets with the rebound. Brooks has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Dishes it to Green. No good on that one. Good D by Thompson. Warriors leading by 22. Kaminga dishes to Curry. Shoots over Van Vliet. Takes the 12-footer and hits. He's got 24. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. Now here's Van Vliet. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Curry against Van Vliet. He lobs it up. Oh, what a John pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Green against Wiggins. And Green gets it to go. Green's got 15 points in just the second half. 
Not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but finishes like this from Green, I think demonstrate how tough he is. Now here's Curry. Here's Kaminga. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Second personal And I would not be surprised to see them double him up here. Shooting for Golden State. Jonathan Kaminga. Shooting one. That free throw good from Kaminga. Now Van Vliet. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult Houston, as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because Second he takes a ton ball. of pride in what he does on defense. At the line for the Warriors, Draymond Green. At the line for one. Free throw drops for Green. Here's Green. Floats one. Got a piece of it. Golden State's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Kaminga finds Curry. Green against Green. It's Curry outside. It's rebounded by Houston. Van Vliet's got his fifth rebound in this one. Green against Green. Green passes to Van Vliet. It's stolen by Curry. Thompson with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. 14 feet away. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Green. Takes it inside. And Green, and Green slams it in. A gifted athlete with an explosive first step. Green is at his best when he attacks off the dribble. Curry with it. Pass to Kaminga. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by Johnson. And it's Smith that time on the assist from Van Vliet. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Pass to Curry. Here's the lob to the hoop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Green, no luck. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Thompson outside. And good Clay that time. Thompson. 22 Boston points for Clay Thompson. Stephen Curry. And just tough trying to knock Thompson off balance. Outstanding at fighting through any challenge presented. Now here's Van Vliet. And Thompson sends it back. They recover it. Knocks it loose. It's Two stolen by Green. Remaining in the game. Two Wiggins finds Curry. Passes it to Kaminga. Over Brooks. And there's the bucket from Kaminga. Kaminga's got nine points in the quarter. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They got to tighten it up. And Brooks gets it to go. And Brooks needs to keep taking and making those jumpers. It's only going to help his confidence. 
And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. Warriors Athletic was put on display here today. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Jonathan Kaminga. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. Two shots. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. He needed to convert on all of those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And, and it's Wiggins wins. with the jam. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. Now, here's Thompson. Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. Curry against Green. Now, here's Green. Curry way outside, and it's off from three-point range. And lead against Thompson. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. Clay Thompson. Fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Houston. Fred Van Vliet. One shot. Van Vliet. Here's Curry. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. That's this one was over game. well before the final bunch. The fans were waiting for Thank something to get excited to about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends.